Okay, so today we are going to be attempting some astrophotography. Who instigated did this hardcore revival? No career, you can focus on survival. There's no competition if you wipe out your rivals. So now astrophotography isn't something that I've done a whole lot. I've done it like literally one time. Uh, I went out, I was just camping and I could see the stars. And so I thought, fuck it, I'll try it. And I knew like a little bit about it. I don't know much more now, but at least I can have better framing than where I was because I was again camping. So like I could really just only get like stars through trees and those pictures, they're like, decent but there was like a road underneath where i was a lot of stuff i don't really like how fully those pictures turned out so we're gonna go out tonight and try and take some more starry pictures just because i think those are cool and interesting and i haven't really done a whole lot of that before plus like with the sky you can really change with like or mess with the tint and white balance and really get some cool colors out of the sky so we're gonna attempt that uh, i don't have a camera or like a star tracker or anything so we're just gonna be shooting like wide angle stuff and yeah uh there's like only one rule that i know like i need to follow in order to get like actual stars instead of like light streaks in the sky and that's like there's this rule called the 500 rule which basically you take your focal length of your lens and then divide it by five or take 500 and then divide it by your the focal length of your lens and then that gives you like your uh exposure time to get like the most amount of light but no streaks at all and 500 has something to do with like the rotation of the earth so yeah i'm probably uh, very unprepared for what i have in store for me but without further ado there's really nothing else to talk about so let's just go out and start snapping pics um that's probably all the only footage you're gonna see on my camera this video this and the outro uh gonna obviously be shooting the photos on this camera so we're gonna be going to my iphone 13 pro and uh yeah i'll see you guys outside okay so i'm outside now and um if I'm honest, there's not as many stars in the sky as I was hoping for. Uh, I'm literally just in my like driveway, uh, by the way. So I have it like set up. I have it focused on the stars. So we're gonna try and uh, just get a picture, see if there's any. We can see any stars in the sky. Hopefully, we can see some stars. If not, we're gonna try a different location. And uh, that's really all the time I got because I'm filming this uh, last night for you guys. So uh, I only really got time for two locations. And if we fail, we fail and try again another day. Hopefully, when we're like camping or something and can be in a more like you know see more stars and stuff like that so i'm gonna take this picture all right so for the camera i've just got my a7 III on a tripod pointing in just that way um on a 20 second shutter because i'm shooting on a 24 to 70 so 24 or 500 divided by 24 gives me a shutter time of 20 seconds so 100 iso um and yeah without further ado i'm gonna take this picture and i will check in with you guys once the picture is taken and we'll see if we need to move or not okay so just took the picture and you can see some stars like if i crop in but there's not enough at, like from where i am i think i'm too close to like a uh, little shopping center so there might be too much light pollution so i'm gonna go uh the freeway where i am doesn't have any street lights so i'm gonna go over by a little um just like cul-de-sac but that's literally right by the freeway it's totally pitch black out there so should be able to get something i'll see you guys once i uh, get over there Alrighty, so we just got to the uh, second location, and as you can see around me, it's um, basically pitch black. But I don't think the uh, stars wanted to show up tonight, so I have my, uh, let me flip this around, got my camera pointing to just straight up at the stars, and we're gonna try and get as many stars as we can. Um, hopefully we get some, and then I can just, you know, kind of use that as like a starry template to like Photoshop and other pictures. And if not, um, I'm calling tonight a fail, I'm sorry, but uh, I tried my best. Man, it's cold out here, I didn't even realize I could see my breath. Um, also, I put on a leather jacket because, yes, it is cold to me. I don't know. It's, it's like 40 or 50 degrees out, which I know is like warm to most people. But in Arizona, this shit's cold. So, yeah, we're going to take this shutter and uh, I'll see you guys if it worked out or I'll check back with you guys to see if it worked out or not. Because, um, yeah, this is honestly a really sketchy spot to be in, if I'm being fully honest, at midnight. So, hopefully we don't get attacked by like a hyena or a bobcat or something. Okay, so uh, I just took a picture and it's pretty dark, so I'm gonna try increasing the ISO a little bit and uh, let's see if that helps a little, or see if that helps at all, really. Okay, so I just took a, uh, another picture at 1600 ISO. I'm also gonna take another one at 6400 and then uh, 12800, just because I know that uh, one, that might help, and two, it's gonna help with the, or one, that might help with like getting brightness of stars, and then two, it's gonna be a little noisy, but I know my camera has insane noise reduction, so I'm hoping that's gonna kick in and kind of save the light of the stars, but also like, you know, the blackness of the sky. So 
we'll see. And um, you guys can pick which one is your favorite, and then we'll decide if we failed or passed tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking we're probably gonna fail, though. I'm not very confident in how the, the sky is looking right now. All right, so I just looked at the 1600 shot, and uh, it's already way too bright. So I'm gonna try again at 400 and see what that looks like. And I might just have the 100, 400, 1600 comparison for you guys, because. Uh, I think 3,200 is gonna, or 64,000 and then 12,800 is gonna be like insanely bright. Like the sky looks fucking blue and it's pitch black out. So I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'll see you guys after I see what this F400 looks like though. All right, so final analysis. Uh, I think we failed tonight, but honestly the sweet spot was uh, 200 ISO. So I'm gonna, I can't wait to see what that looks like on the, on the computer, on my 4K screen, like all blown up and stuff and see how many stars I actually got. Cause I'm just looking at this, you know, tiny half inch screen on my, uh, I guess it's like a one and a half inch screen on my camera. But uh, yeah, I think I <laughs> think I failed, so I'm sorry, but uh, it's not my fault. I think the stars kind of fucked me tonight. So I'll see you guys back at my house and uh, we'll talk about these photos and like kind of what they look like and stuff like that. All righty, here we are back at home and uh, let's just uh, cut to the chase because I'm really uh, antsy to find out if I failed this or not. So let's go on, let's look at the JPEGs because I don't want my computer tweaking out that I'm recording and trying to open raw files at the same time. So I went and like did right clicked and saw all the ISOs that I went. So that's why all the files are renamed, but I haven't physically opened them yet. So alrighty, let's see this test. Oh shit. Okay. That's more stars than I genuinely thought. Let's zoom in here. Okay. I'm honestly not mad at that. It's not the it's not the Milky Way ex like exactly, but there's definitely stars there. White balance is a little off, but you know that can be fixed later because I do have the raw files. But these are just the JPEGs, so they're probably not even as high res as they should be. Um, but that's all right. All right we're gonna start out with the 100. This is when I was uh, just pointing it straight at the sky in that little dark alleyway. So all of these, the framing is going to be the, the exact same, but the lighting is just going to be a little different. And yeah, I could only see like these very bright stars that you can see like these here, like are the only ones that I could see. So like all this stuff in the middle here and off to the left here, I can see any of this. Damn, there is so many. I could honestly blow this up too. It's like on a black background. I could put these stars basically anywhere I wanted to. I'm gonna keep this picture for sure. <laughs> I might clean it up in a uh, Lightroom, but I'm absolutely using this for like other skies and different pictures. So I'm very happy with this actually. Like we did a lot better than I thought we would. And honestly, they don't look too streaky. Like they look pretty like pretty solid dots. Um, if I did have a remote, I did want to get like a 30 minute shutter just to see if it would be like straight lines or a circle in the sky. Like obviously it wouldn't be a circle in the sky because for that to happen, I would need to be at the uh, Earth's axis point, which I'm not. But alrighty, let's see if increasing my ISO gave me some more stars here. So let's go to 200. Honestly, yeah, I think I got a little bit more stars. Like look in this area here, you can kind of see like four stars there. But then it turns into five plus a little little extra guys. No noise creeping in yet. That's like two major. 400. We're gonna starting to get some color out of the stars, which is nice. Yeah, I'm not like a fan of how bright the sky is necessarily. I say bright. It's a pitch black sky, but you know, there's a lot of information being given from the sensor and the sensor is trying to do a lot of work here. So, all right, let's bump it up. Another two stops to 800. Yeah, so at this point, it's just kind of making the image brighter in the shadows, I guess. Low lights. Yeah, shadows. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, you can tell it's been a while since I've taken actual pictures. Let me see. Oh, okay, that's actually interesting. So looking right here and then going to 800, like you can see so much more stars. Okay, so, you, so your ISO does actually bring out some stars uh, if you if you're so... Note to self, if I'm not ever not happy with the amount of stars I'm getting, just uh, give my eyes a little bump. Because it's going to be on a tripod anyway. Okay, let's go to 1600. Okay, that's damn near too much. No, not damn near. That is too much. I think 1600 is definitely way too much for a 20 second exposure at f2.8. <laughs> um, but we, I feel like we learned some valuable information today. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to edit these, really. I might edit this one just for thumbnail purposes. Yeah, I think that I'm going to call that a success. Honestly, we got a lot of stars. You can definitely see stars, which was my main concern. Like, would you be able to tell? 
800 you can see definitely the most without it looking too washed out or anything like that um also if it look if my like mouth movement isn't syncing up with the audio it's because when i'm recording in this setting uh i just have a recording my video and audio and desktop all at once so it kind of desyncs it i know there's like a way i can like put my audio tracks or video track on a delay to like help sync with that better but i haven't done much research into that anyways i'm getting distracted so uh i just want to say thanks for coming on this little journey with me i'm glad i know that i can confidently do this in literally my backyard uh if i ever need stars for a photo so if you guys enjoyed please leave me a like comment and uh, subscribe all that youtube stuff oh also if you don't have them uh, turn on post notifications because it's never really like i do upload every monday and friday but it's never like determined what time i'm gonna upload because i'm really bad at uh filming and then editing as you can see as you've probably noticed i record most of my friday videos thursday night so uh, i need to get better about that but until next time guys i'll see you later um yeah got either a mo an elden ring video or a modern warfare video coming out so stay tuned for that i'll see you guys then hey! <laughs>